Sometime I wish if I had an undo button in my real life as well, right? So then when we do something stupid, we could uh, easily undo that. Anyway, we don't have that luxury in a real life. So undo or rollback or uh, revert, this is a functionality sometimes we need in our applications, right? So what that does, we have an object, the object has a state and then for some time we need to go back to its previous state, right? So, Memento is a design pattern designed for that, right? So, in, if you uh, want to implement that functionality, the Memento is the right design pattern to follow. So, today we are going to discuss that. So, before going to that, so make sure you subscribe to the channel because not only the design pattern, there are so many important topics we are going to discuss in this channel, right? So, share my experience and so many other topics to come. So, make sure you subscribe. So, I am going to frequently up upload these days. So, therefore, make sure you click the subscribe button so you won't miss any video, okay? And also like to my Facebook page so you then we can stay in touch through that. You can shoot your questions and your ideas for future videos or anything. Okay, so Momento design pattern has three pillars. One is the originator. The originator is the one what we need to maintain the state, right? So then you have to have a caretaker. So caretaker is the one who keep the track of the originator. And then finally, uh, Momento itself, right? So when we implement this, originator coupled with the momento and the past state into the caretaker, right? So whenever we need to go back to the previous state, we talk to the caretaker and we check what's the previous state and move, right? So there are enough use cases to uh, implement this feature, right? So usually I'm trying to get real world examples as much as I can, but if I take like A, B, C, D classes, it would be really easy to implement this, but rather than that, I'm trying to get the real world use, case, use cases because then you can uh, use those use case in your uh, uh, applications as well as you can apply this to similar cases, right? For this one, I'm going to take shopping cart. I understand to implement a shopping cart, fee this feature of shopping cart, you have enough way to do, right? But as an example, I'm taking that, but you can apply this to anywhere you need the rollback or a undo feature. So what we are going to do, user, we have a shopping cart and we have an item. So we are going to add item in the shopping cart, right? So when we add the item in the shopping cart, sometime we need to, let's say you add three items. So you need to go back one step, right? So that means where we were two items, right? And then you need to go back one more step. That's where we have one item, right? So that is the feature we are going to implement. In other words, we are going to uh, revert or the rollback uh, our shopping cart into previous state, okay? So I told you in a Momento design pattern, we have three pillars, right? So this is my first one, first pillar, which is originator, right? I haven't implemented anything here. This is the originator. And uh, my cart has an item, right? So I'll implement that later. So then this is the caretaker. So I use the same words, what they use to uh, describe this design pattern, then it will be really easy for you to map, right? But when you really implement, you can use uh, your own words for these things. It doesn't matter, right? You don't have to use the same, this exact words, but you can use some other words like a cart history or something like that, okay? So item, I have just a one property, right? There's a name and that's all. That's all in the item, okay? So let's implement the cart. So cart, I'm using array list directly here without using a list for a reason. I'll tell you why in a while, right? So new. Right. So ideally, what we should do is you, you should use the list items equal new array list code to the interface. But I'm going to use the uh, list here array list directly here uh, for a reason. I'll explain in a while. So what we are going to do is we are going to first uh, implement the add item feature. Okay. So then we need to implement the getter for this. But I'm going to do something special here. Right, so you know how collection framework behave, right? So when you take a uh, add item, when object to a list, and if you copy, if you just assign this list to a other uh, list, and if you manipulate or if you modify this list later, so this original list will change because you copy the references, right? So to avoid that, I'm going to uh, take this as a clone, right? So that we need a clone method. That's why I directly implement the uh, define the array list rather than the list here, right? So now I need to cast this. 
right so in the last video we discussed why we need to cast this right so now we have these two features right for the moment though i'm going to use an inner class within this card class right but if you want like you can uh, have your own separate class but i'm going to use it inside this right so i'm going to use a static class in a class moment though i should have same thing but i don't need to uh, instantiate this okay so i'm going to create a constructor for this and i'm going to create a getter okay for this get item i'm going to mark this as a private right that mean only card can access this uh, get method get items method right so no one else can access this okay so that's it for a card uh, i'm going to use a two string method so it would be easy uh, us to debug okay so now we need to implement two very specific methods in this card right one we need to preserve the card state right the second one in case we need we need to revert the card state right so preserve the card state mean we have a caretaker we have to give the state of the card to the caretaker right so but if we return the card object itself then we cannot change it right we cannot add more items without uh, affecting the previous states right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to return card momento to the caretaker right so how i'm going to do is public card momento and save right okay so what i need to do is i need to return new card momento and with get item oops why i don't have a get item i implemented that right ah, okay so i made a mistake it should be you not know, the set item it should be the get items right okay let's let's do this let's generate this again i don't need a set at all so i need to the getter get items and items dot clone and i need to cast this to array list okay so now i can use the get items here okay so now what it will do is it will uh, create a new card moment object using the current card right so that means because we get the get items get items mean this that mean the current state of the card and we clone that right so we clone this because uh, the next modification should not impact to the whatever the object we taken right so now we take the current state right so now it we, we save somewhere else so now you modify the card again this modification should not affect to the object we have taken right that's why we need to clone this right so now this is a save now we need to revert object right so in case we need to revert this so how that works so public void i mean you can use any any uh, name here that's fine and i'm going to get card memento itself and what we do here i'm going to use current state of the card to the state from the card memento right so get items so we all good here now we need to implement a caretaker right so caretaker uh, this is the like the caretaker how it works that is the person who hold the state of the previous of previous object right so let's say you assign one item and you save it right and okay so now you assign other item and you save it you assign other item and you save it now when you roll back you need to give the first state first right so that means last in first out right so it's need to be implemented as a stack so i'm going to use a stack what we do here card memento right so i'm going to use as a history equal new stack right so now the caretaker have to save the card state right so what it what we can do is so we can implement a method to save public void save i need the card state to save okay so now so history dot push right so you can see push required card memento but not the card 
right but what we take is a card because we need to save the state of the card right so what we can do is we can use the card dot save right so card dot save will return we implement this to return card memento right so that's why we can do that okay right so now we need to implement the revert method public void revert so we need to take card and I'm going to check the stack states right if history dot is empty right if the history is not is empty then we call card dot revert method right so these methods are implemented in the card itself right so card dot revert method so revert method need card memento object right so for that we can say history dot pop right so we take last element from the history right so else i'm just going to uh, add the sys out here saying cannot undo okay right so this is my revert right so now we are done with all the uh, background implementation so now we need to just use this so let's see how we can uh, use this so i'm going to create a caretaker object here equal new new caretaker and the cart equal new cart right so cart dot add item is new item let's say it's a book right so i'm going to add few items to cart right so i'm going to add the pen and i'm going to add the pencil and i'm going to add phone and also i'm going to add notebook right so i have few items added okay so now let's assume we gave a feature to the user to save the card state right so let's say user add the first two item and save the card right so user click this uh, save card button so what we can do is we can say caretaker dot save and we pass the card right so we just use uh, south to uh, see what's inside the card and then let's assume user after that user do this for every uh, item he add right so let's say user do this user do this and user do this right so let's run this and see uh, what it look like okay so now you can see here uh, first time you have a two items because we save the card after adding a two items right so that means how this work so you create a card and you put this entire card to the uh, on a caretaker right so now you add one more item and you gave that card to the caretaker that's kind of a version of the card right so don't confuse this with the items inside the card right so because when you revert back from the here from pencil state to pen state so it is not that you remove item from the card you just keep the version of the card okay so now you can understand this by uh, like let's say you revert this now right so for some reason they decide to revert this right so and now let's say you print this right so keep in mind i i guaranteed you you will expect a different results and this will give you a different results right I'll, I'll tell you why so now when i run this program right so you can see this same card repeating here right so that's why i i told you like uh, you will get a um, different idea you will expect different results and i the system will give different results so i have revert few more time so now i'm going to show you something else as well and i'll explain why why that's happening that way right so here you can see 
and item notebook it comes twice and it go back to the phone state that's fine it go back to the pencil state that's fine it go back to the pen state that's fine and then it says i cannot undo anymore right why so you will think oh, no no it has it can undo one more time right no it cannot because it's a version of the card so right it's nothing to do with the number of items inside the card so now you why you get the two times this notebook thing, right so if you think what i have done here you add the notebook to the card and you gave that card to the caretaker right so now we are saying hey please revert this right so when you ask from the caretaker caretaker will give the card what you gave last that mean it's the same card what you have in your hand it's not a different card right so you can check this what you can do is let's add the notebook but we don't give it to the caretaker right so now what caretaker has the card which has the phone right and last item is a phone not the notebook right so don't get confused right if you confused just watch my explanation again so i'm going to run this now so now you will not see two notebooks here okay so when you see now it work right so when you have a notebook if you add a notebook and when you give it to the caretaker what the caretaker has what you have is a same uh, card right it's sort of two different right so now it's a two different version now caretaker has a different version and i have a different version right so now that's why this work like this so now let's after reverting the notebook let's say from here i'm going to add item to the card right i'm going to add one more item which is the ipad to the card right and i'm going to print this right so can you think what would be the output okay so let's run this now you will see um, notebook then it return back to the phone state right and then you add the ipad so now it go back here right and you save the card and you revert so now it's the same problem right so you add the ipad and you gave the card to the caretaker now caretaker has a card which is the ipad is the last item i have a card which is the last card item uh, last item is ipad so when i revert when i care get last state from the caretaker that's the same as what i have right so this one i should not um save if i want to revert this right so now if i so now if I run this, right, so you will see you add a notebook, you revert so you can come back to the phone state and you add iPad and you, so you go to the one more step future and then you come back to the pencil state, right. So what happens here, so you add a notebook, you didn't give that to the caretaker and you revert it. So revert it means you take an card from the uh, caretaker so that was the card which has a phone as a last item so now caretaker don't have the card which has a phone as a last item right so caretaker has the card which is what was the before the phone pencil as the last item right so now you add the ipad so right so you add the ipad and you revert it so in your mind you ex you might be expecting it should go back to the I, uh, a phone state no it is not why caretaker don't have something with a phone now right Care what caretaker has a, with a pencil right so i had ipad i revert it mean i ask caretaker hey give me your last card so when caretaker give that to me what the caretaker has is a card with the pencil as a last item okay so little bit maybe a little bit confusing because of this uh, go back and forth but if you do this example if you play with this i'm pretty sure you will understand right this is not a really really hard thing okay so then subscribe to the channel and like on my Facebook, stay in touch, take care, see you in the next video.